We are here looking at the Unitech UT61E 22,000 count digital multimeter. It does not come with a backlit display stock, so I decided, like many other people, to put one in. Except many people will use the hold button to function as the uh, on off button for the backlit display. I decided, since I'm not an electrical engineer, well, mechanical, but not electrical. I wasn't sure if I may need it one day, and I really don't feel like buying a whole nother multimeter just to get the hold function back. So I decided to put a switch on the top. Flip the switch, backlit display comes on. Flip it back off, bam, off. Original functionality stays the same. I'll switch it over to resistance reading. Right now I'm reading uh, 100 feet, so about 30 meters of, I believe it's 18 gauge stranded copper wire via the insulation piercing uh, probes, and we got an average of 1.2 ohms, which seems pretty good. Anyways, so say you were in the dark, that's not going to be uh, readily seeable. Switch. Bam. I haven't really noticed a difference in the readings with the multimeter because of turning the backlit display on. I think that since I hooked it up directly to the battery instead of going through the circuitry to the hold function, which like I said, still remains the same because nothing's hooked up to it. I think this would be a better way to go if you're wanting to put a backlit display into a non-backlit uh, multimeter, be it digital, analog, what have you. As long as you have the backing for a, uh, a dual or quad LED setup, then it should work just fine. Switch off. On, off, obviously. Uh, everything else remains fully functional. I haven't noticed any difference in readings on anything once since this switch has been installed. So I think this might be a better way to go than using the hold button. Granted, it does look slightly tackier than only using the hold button, but like I said, if you think you may need the hold button in the future, I would go with this setup because it's easy. It's easy to hold one-handed. And obviously that's how it works. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, you don't have to like this video if you don't like it, but whatever. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And thanks for watching. Bye.